Hi guys, it's been drizzling a lot here in SoCal and the temperature has finally dropped to the point where we're able to wear our Christmas PJs and now it really feels like winter here. With Thanksgiving, Christmas and New Year's coming up, we thought of creating a blouse that is appropriate for family gatherings. We decided to sweeten up the look by giving a bow tie collar with bishop sleeves and fabric wise we went with one and a half yard of black lace but for this project any fabric will do the job. But if you want your bow tie to retain its shape, we recommend you to avoid using any knitted fabric. Before we head on to the tutorial, here are quick two outfits that we arranged with these two lovely skirts from Choice.com. In this outfit, I'm wearing a pleather skirt with amazing metal zipper embellishments. We don't know about you, but we love any designs with metal zippers on it. There's something about metal zipper that makes your outfit look extra chic and polished. We like the way how the hardcore pleather skirt is balanced out with the feminine lace blouse, and the outfit is finished off with 2 years old long boots from Aldo. In indoors, you can definitely change the boots with pumps or any other types of heels. For the second outfit, I simply changed the skirt into this gorgeous deep navy blue color fit and flare skirt. In fact, it is very similar to one of our previous tutorials so definitely check out our DIY fit and flare skirt tutorial if you want to find out how to make your very own. We love the way how the princess lines on the skirt makes an illusion of slimmer hip and the bouncy flares around the hem is so elegant and lovely. For the shoe, I went with black booties from Gap. If the bare leg is too cold to handle, I would probably wear black tights or leggings. By the way, recently we are having difficulty in replying to your comments. It seems YouTube has changed some of their system and we are unsure what to do in order to reply back to your comments. We would appreciate if you can leave comment below if you happen to know how to fix this technical difficulty. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and make sure to have fun! For the necktie, try your best to achieve such taper shape. The widest width totals 4.5 inch and it gradually tapers into a total width of 2 inch. Here we are dropping the hem downward 1 quarter inch because the back bodice is going to be 1 quarter inch longer than the front bodice. The length of the binding is equal to the length of the keyhole.
Please ignore the hem of the sleeves. I had to take this step because I ran out of black colored elastic band. Make sure to leave certain amount of length of tie unattached and that amount will equal to the total length of front and back neckline. 